So, um, four years ago, I attended a similar workshop that started with the question, why are you here? Um, <laughs> that's, that's a little too. <laughs> um, so, my answer was quite clear. I was kind of miserable around, <laughs> <laughs> around my, my email. Uh, it was like chasing me. I went to sleep thinking that I have many emails. I woke up thinking that I have many emails. There was, there was always this burden that I'm doing something wrong because too many people I don't reply to and it, it actually made part of my life kind of uh, miserable. But the story starts 20 years ago, that's me <laughs> in the late 90s, okay, where email was kind of a new thing. Uh, that was my first email address when people would still use the underscore yeah, yeah. because of the DOS systems. I still have this email address <laughs> with Yahoo. <laughs> and it was. I still have my copy. And, and the email was kind of a, a, a fun thing. I was actually waiting for people to write me emails and see, hey, you have a new email, and I was traveling and... You like, the newsletters. Yeah, and it was fun. <laughs> but then it became part of work, right? That was like my feeling. And the thing is that the mailbox was everything for me. It was my calendar. I would uh, schedule appointments using my email. It was my uh, to-do list, and it was the medium I, I communicated with my family and friends. So I knew that I need to get a system, but it should be like very simple. Like, how many times have you woke up and you told yourself, okay, from this day on, I'm going to start reading all emails and have this burden off my shoulders. So I did it many times, but I didn't have the right system. And the Inbox Zero system actually changed the, the, the way I work. And that's what I'll be sharing with you. So the basic thing is that we think we could be multitaskers, but no matter how many open windows we have, <laughs> we could just work on one. And this is a very important thing to understand for using the, the, this method. Uh, our time and attention, of course, are, fi are fi finite, right? And usually the tasks we're expected to do are more than the time we have available. So that's why we need to confine ourselves with rules, filters, borders to make sure that only the important tasks would cross these walls, which are, is our time and, and our attention. And the basic thing around this method is that you need to manage your actions. <coughs> the things, um, like when you work, you're measured by what you do and not how your inbox looks like. Many, many people treat their inbox or cleaning it as the ultimate goal though it's not the, the, the ultimate goal is to achieve the assignments you want to achieve and dividing these two are a basic principle of, of this method because things that we do happen here in the real world and not here in our inbox so what is inbox zero all about again the basic notion is email is just a medium. It can't, we, we, we can't allow it to manage ourselves. We need to manage it. And there's one place for anything, we'll, we'll talk about it in a minute. We need to process it to zero every day. And by zero I mean zero unread messages, like, like you said, uh, uh, Dinor. And the basic thing is we need to convert an email to an action. And if we do not convert it to an action, we need to get rid of it completely. So, um, processing. Processing is 
different than reading and it's different than responding. What is processing? So processing is more than that than just checking and it's less than responding. We'll uh, talk about that in a minute, but um, this is, for example, one of the reasons I try not to uh, read emails using my smartphone. Because reading emails through my smartphone is it's like checking mail. Usually I don't do anything with it. I just have it in my mind. I, it's, it's like not very comfortable to respond and to make it a task or even like to write the report I'm asked to do, right? So I usually try not to use my smartphone for emails. I, I, I try to wake, wait until I get to the office and, and then work on my emails. And um, when I'm processing my mailbox, I have one question in, one, in mind. So what? What does the person that sends me the email wants me to do? Um, for example, this is a, a, an email that I received uh, last week. Uh, next week I'm going to present in the uh, global online education uh, uh, conference. So I got this quite long email. And this is an example of processing, because I could read every line and like try to get in depth for each bullet, but that's not very efficient. Actually, there is just one line in all this email that is important. I asked myself what am I expected to do, and actually only this line is important. Uh, practice room. You have a presentation, you should go to this link. That is all other things are for me are not relevant. Like I know what what the schedule, I know what it is about, I know the agenda. So like uh, screening, figuring out what I need to do, that took me like one minute. But if I would read the whole email in depth, that would probably take me five minutes. And if I would click any of these links, that would probably take me ten or more minutes. So. The skill that uh, I learned that I should develop is finding this piece of information of what I need to do. When I figure that out, my whole reading the email changes, right? Because I only look for the context of the assignment. And when you have 150 emails per day, that was my situation like uh, three years ago when I, I ran this uh, Israeli program which is similar to the NPower program I got 150 emails a day this method for me was one hour uh, less reading emails so the basic idea is make sandwiches don't just take orders taking orders is um, looking into the settings is going over everything, sometimes the non, not relevant thing, making sandwiches, targeting your assignments and your tasks. So, Inbox Zero is very simple. It has one rule. For each new email you get in your inbox, you should do one of these five things. Delete, delegate, response, defer, or do. And I'll now go over every uh, kind of action. So, this is the best one, right? <laughs> Actually, around 70% of your processing should end in deleting. Okay? Like, uh, figuring out what is the new piece of information. Usually most emails that we get, especially those where, where we are written in the CC, we don't need to do anything about it. So, I, I have this thing that I never like uh, permanently delete anything. So, I have emails from 2003. So, everyone in my organization knows that if they want to know some piece of history or something that happened, I, I have like gigabytes of emails. So, I, I usually just archive it. But this is the most common. It's quite easy. If there's nothing I need to do, the first thing I'll do, I'll delete. Yeah. And by archive it, you mean put it in folders? Um, so usually I, I use just this huge archive. 
I, I don't use uh, uh, folders. Okay. Yeah. I use folders for filtering, and uh, I'll, I'll demonstrate that, that later. So this is the easiest one, just the latest. Delegate. Now it becomes a bit more tricky. Okay, so I have staff and people, other people that could do that. I could just forward it to them. But uh, doing that sometimes or most of the time is not enough. I need to put a reminder that I've delegated it to someone else so I'll be able to follow up. Okay, so that's the, the second thing I, I could do. But after forwarding that, I'll put a reminder and I'm going to delete this email. Okay, it's, it will be there, like if, because when the reminder pops up, I go back to the, this email to see that everything that was written there was A done. reminder where? In the schedule? Okay, so there's uh, one of the things that I'm going to say soon is that we need to divide our tasks from our emails. So I'll, I'll put a, a new task. There are all kinds of uh, apps I use, and I do. Uh, what was the name you know, of the boomerang? Boomerang that allows you to automatically do that. Make an email a reminder. Mm. Clean it from your inbox, but it will be in the boomerang or in the any do as a reminder. So delegate, delegate is deleting the email, but putting a, a reminder. Respond. People need a piece of information, phone number, data, whatever. Many people tend to delay that. Okay, so one of the principles of Inbox Zero is don't delay the respond emails because it's like in a um, soccer court, the, you have the ball now. If you don't respond, you are withholding other people from getting on with their tasks. So that is an immediate thing. Don't delay your response because you're delaying the, uh, this project by not responding. So the third thing would be to uh, respond. Defer, this is the, I think the most tricky one because you see that there is something you need some information you need to provide, but it will take you now two hours, right? It's not your assignment, but it's your input for the project, and you don't want to spend the next two hours of doing that because you have other plans, uh, assignments that are uh, that have the higher priority. So that would be the only case, and that's uh, folder is is one way to do that. That you'll defer, you'll put it on the side, and you'll. Uh, schedule a time that you'll go back to this email. This is the most tricky one because this defer folder could be like very heavy. So like having this habit of once in 48 hours going back to your defer and cleaning it is a, is a good thing. Because of all five actions, this is the most tricky one. You could navigate all emails to this folder and say, hey, my inbox is now clean, no unread emails, right? Um, so this is defer, and the best one is to do. Make your email an assignment. You could uh, use any app. I use the uh, AnyDo uh, app. Um, let's see. Uh, this is how it looks like. Um, Oh, and now the internet back. Okay, we'll see that. So this is my AnyDo app. It has a plugin for Chrome. It works with the inbox. When I have an, a new email, I could automatically uh, make it a, a task. Mm. So it, it's very easy. Like, mm -hmm. it, it won't take me more than two seconds to make it a task <coughs> and then delete it. Um, so, and it has all kinds of nice features. I could put um, reminders. I could uh, share this workspace with others. And 
I could even uh, make a location-based reminder. Like, bring the milk when I'm next to the supermarket, it will pop up and say, hey, you wow. need to... Yeah, That's so... Nice. Uh, and it's an Israeli startup, so... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, this is... Uh, the, but there are dozens of apps. The, 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 the only uh, thing is... Uh, we should... Sorry. What I do is, every time I need an action, I open a new window. So it's a work window. So every window I have, it's something I have to do, and all the tabs are all the material related. And then when I finish, I close the window. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's another method. Uh, uh, but what happens if, for example, you need to go now? So I, I leave the window. Oh, you need to, so you don't close the window until the, the task is done. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, um, but the important thing is, no emails are left alone. <coughs> they are either deleted, they are either delegated, responded, deferred, or made a task. Yeah. Um, so, the complicated thing is making it a habit. And one of the ways uh, I use it is uh, I try not to respond to emails throughout the day, I'll, I'll soon explain why. Every day, the first hours, <coughs> processing my uh, inbox, and the last hour of the day, processing my inbox. Th that's my way to make it an, an inbox uh, zero. And when I say inbox zero, I mean zero unread. Um, so, why not to do that every half an hour? Uh, let's do some math. Um, Averagely, let's take me three years ago, 150 emails a day. An average employee gets a new email every five minutes and responds in six seconds. Okay, it, the time like reading and then responding. Now, there is what is called a recovery time. Recovery time could be between one email to another or I'm, let's say, I'm writing a report, or a case study, or, I don't know, uh, 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 this document, and then I got this email, six seconds, respond, delete, whatever I did with the inbox zero, but then it will take me 64 seconds to go back to my document and figure out what I was <coughs> doing, like what was this formula about, what was the... Uh, Lino started writing, right? So now I have uh, a question for you. What's the average time you could work with no interference using these factors? A day. So my question is, uh, what will be the time you'll work with no interference if Every five minutes you get an email that it takes you six seconds to respond and then 64 seconds to recover. No time. Yeah. Two minutes, three minutes. So, this is the answer. Three minutes, 50 seconds. That means that if we don't make rules for reading emails, it will take us forever to do something, right? Because Every 3 minutes and 50 seconds, our thread of thought is interrupted. And that's why, for example, if I need, uh, let's take the, the problem definition tool that I'm writing its content. It should, I, sh I need to be very concentrated, I have like videos and articles and if every 4 minutes something interrupts me, it will take me forever and both Dinora and myself know I need to do that, kind of, uh, in the next few days. So, that's the reason I think we should confine a devoted time for emails and turn off the new email alert. So we could work with no interference. And I should make MOOCs of 3 minutes and 50 seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, be very efficient in that time. So, 
Uh, and I want to uh, conclude before opening it up for discussion and questions with six additional tips that will help you make Inbox Zero uh, a habit. But you don't have email alerts? So, if you uh, look at my uh, smartphone, you see that there's no, the, the number is turned off. Really? I, I need like to proactively check uh, email. And if you work on your computer, the thing that pops up on the Outlook or the Gmail... It, it doesn't pop up. It doesn't pop up? It, it's turned <laughs> off. Yeah, Dinora you know, knows that. Sometimes it takes me two hours to respond to an email that uh, she wants probably the, the respond before. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so it's, it's also, of course, about the uh, organization's culture, right? Because if sure. my boss expects me to reply <coughs> in two minutes, I have to make some these assumptions valid with yeah. my, my, my co-workers. So, for example, my co-workers know not to put me in CC if they want to have a reasonable, timely manner to response. Because they know that I have filter that takes all emails where I'm CC'd to a back folder. I won't read it until I want to do that. Yeah, so I don't, I don't get like CC email. I'll show you that in, in a second. So that's my first thing. Filter. Uh, Gmail, Outlook, all kinds of uh, email software enables you making rules. So let's take a look at my Apple Seeds uh, inbox. Okay. Beth, so. But Beth CCs like their, her way of telling you to do something is by CCing you. So there are tricks, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate. But the, the basic filter says that. Um, Sorry for the Hebrew. <laughs> uh, so you see these folders? There, where, where I'm CC'd. Okay? Um, it's always in an unread uh, 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 state. And I go back to that only in, in, in uh, like few conditions occur. But I have a folder for people from the administration department and the content department and the dev team and the operation and the management. So every email that I get is filtered to its folder and then I know how to prioritize. I start with, I have now 30 minutes. So I'll start with responding my CEO and my management colleagues and then to my content team. So it creates uh, uh, automatically the priorities for me. So uh, filters um, could be sorry, uh, like tons of of, uh, of kinds of filters. Um, so, for example, there are exceptions, right? Maybe people put me in CC, but they want to do something. So, if the word Iran appears in the email, it gets prioritized, mm -hmm. even if I'm a CC. So all kinds of rules that mm. make this 150 emails become 10 important emails, 30 emails that I really need to read, and 110 emails that I'll read in the last hour of the day. Mm. So filtering is a very useful method to prioritize emails. Uh, another important tip, I think, is to divide. Have your life mailbox and your work mailbox. Don't mix them. So now I, I check like once a day my private Gmail inbox and three, four times the, the, the way that I think it's right, my uh, working uh, email. Um, a third tip, and I already said that, schedule mail time. Because if we do that in between so sometimes, and we don't prioritize, maybe we spend this 10 minutes on unimportant emails where more important emails were waiting for us. So usually my first hour of the day is processing mailbox and my last hour of the day processing a mailbox.